When the infamous six-mile-wide asteroid slammed into Earth 66 million years ago, it spelled the end of the Cretaceous period, along with 80% of all living organisms on Earth. The Cretaceous Paleogene extinction led to the demise of all tetrapods, or four-legged animals, weighing more than 25 kilograms 55 pounds. There were, of course, some exceptions to this, which included some ectothermic species, such as the leatherback sea turtle and the crocodiles. There is a layer in the Earth's crust found all over the world that pinpoints the time when the asteroid hit. This layer is high in the metal iridium, which is rare on Earth but common on asteroids, leading to the asteroid theory for one of the greatest mass extinctions on Earth. All non-avian dinosaurs were included in this mass extinction, and their demise resulted in a new era, the Paleogene, in which mammals were able to thrive and dominate, eventually evolving and diversifying into the incredible array we have on Earth today. But how did the mammals and the other small animals survive? And why didn't a single dinosaur, except for birds, survive? There seem to be a few contributing factors that point to why other animals survived the meteor. Part of the reason for these species' survival was the different habitats that they all lived in. The mammals that existed at the time of the dinosaurs were mostly shrew-sized creatures that lived underground. They were at the very bottom of the food chain and lived a relatively insignificant existence amongst the dinosaurs. However, their diminutive size, which had made them prey for several dinosaur species, finally played in their favor. When the asteroid hit, the immediate aftermath was characterized by a searing heat as the Earth's temperature rose steeply and without warning. Wildfires spread far and wide. The sun was blocked out by rising smoke and ash. The world was an incredibly hostile place. With nowhere to hide, most of the dinosaurs were burnt to death. But the small mammals could take shelter underground. They could survive in their burrows, cracks and crevices in rocks and hollow tree trunks. These places, along with the oceans, were the only areas to hide. Animals in the oceans and waterways, such as fish, some reptiles and marine mammals, also managed to survive the extreme heat immediately following the asteroid strike, as the water sheltered them from the worst of it. The heat was like a vicious roller coaster of heart pulses, which made it impossible to live above ground. When these eventually stopped, having burned almost everything in their path, a nuclear winter gripped the planet. This was characterized by an average drop in temperature of 20 degrees centigrade, or 36 degrees Fahrenheit, which lasted for more than 30 years. When the global temperatures finally returned to normal, these small mammals emerged into a decimated world. But unlike the few dinosaurs that managed to survive, the small shrew-like animals could still find food in the form of insects, other ground-dwelling invertebrates, and aquatic plants. The enormous dinosaurs couldn't survive without the vast quantities of vegetation available. All plants above ground had been destroyed. With the vegetation being the first step in most food chains, when it was completely obliterated by the meteor, specialist feeders died out. The T. rex and its carnivorous counterparts no longer had any prey to eat, and the herbivores struggled to find the vast quantities of vegetation they needed. But there were plenty of seeds around. The small mammals that were more generalist feeders could consume seeds as part of their diet and birds also thrived off these. However, not all mammals survived the extinction. Many groups perished at the time of impact, or not long after, as their species couldn't survive with so few individuals. It is easy to see how the enormous dinosaurs of the Cretaceous era failed to find shelter from the asteroid aftermath. But what about the small dinosaurs? Why didn't they survive like the other small creatures of the time? There are a few reasons for this. Firstly, the small dinosaurs didn't live in the ground like the mammals, and so could have been burned along with the giants. They also had a less diverse diet than the mammals, 
and when their food sources dried up, they could no longer survive. Research at Florida State University has found another reason why the dinosaurs, including the smaller species, didn't survive in the Paleogene. The answer lies within the breeding cycles. There had been a long debate about the incubation times of dinosaur eggs. The question always remained, did dinosaurs have short incubation times, like their modern-day counterparts, the birds, or were they much slower, like their cousins, the reptiles? Today, some reptiles incubate their eggs for months. The embryos are slow-growing and therefore reproduction is a relatively slow process. The advantage of this is that the babies are more developed when they hatch, meaning they are less vulnerable than underdeveloped hatchlings. It also means that the parents protect them for longer during their development inside the eggs, warding off predators and therefore increasing their chances of survival. But when a natural disaster hits, like that of the asteroid, Having a long incubation time could spell disaster for a species. Incredibly, to find out whether dinosaur eggs were more like birds or reptiles, scientists were able to determine the incubation time of two dinosaur species by studying fossilized embryos found in two fossilized eggs. These embryos belonged to the Protoceratops and Hypacrosaurus. By examining the embryonic teeth of the underdeveloped baby dinosaurs, the researchers could tell the stage of development and how long they would take until they were due to hatch. The findings from this research surprised everyone. It turned out that dinosaurs were more like reptiles than birds and had a very long incubation period. The embryos of the sheep-sized protoceratops would have taken three months to hatch and those of the giant Hypacrosaurus likely took around six months to develop. This puts the dinosaurs, even the smaller species, at a distinct disadvantage compared to the mammals of the time. Having a slow incubation period, coupled with the significant resources required to reach adulthood, the dinosaurs would have struggled to keep their populations going in times of environmental disaster. For example, a T-Rex took 29 years to reach sexual maturity, whilst a small mouse takes just a few weeks. It is therefore much easier for small mammals to keep their species alive, even during times of hardship. With the dinosaurs either extinct or on their way out, the mammals during the Paleogene took advantage of the situation. The earliest mammals began to evolve, increasing their body size and moving into a range of different environmental niches. The fossil evidence of those in the new Paleogene revealed that all mammals had a similar physical build to each other. They were all stocky and robust animals with hefty bones. They were most similar to today's ground-dwelling mammals. This further adds to the idea that mammals survived the aftermath of the asteroid by hunkering down underground. All of a sudden, when the world had been obliterated, the mammals had the opportunity to thrive. No longer were they suppressed by the far more dominant dinosaurs. Their predators were gone, and the world was now theirs for the taking. That's when the mammals diversified, leading them to eventually dominate the world as they do today. Of course, not all dinosaurs died out. Birds are scientifically dinosaurs. The first appeared on the scene around 150 million years ago, branching off from the other dinosaurs and evolving feathers and flight. Like the mammals, they were able to survive mostly owing to their varied diet. At the time, some species of bird had teeth and others had toothless beaks. When the asteroid struck, all birds with teeth died out, whilst those without survived. It seems that the toothless birds had a diet which allowed them to survive. Rather than eating meat and therefore relying on other animals for their food, these birds were able to feed on hard food like seeds and nuts that were left behind when the forests were burnt to dust. They could peck and dig for buried seeds in the ground. The birds were also likely to be small enough to hunker down in cracks and crevices 
much like the small mammals and land-dwelling reptiles did. So, there is a combination of factors that allowed some animals to continue to survive after the asteroid strike 66 million years ago. The adaptations that had allowed some dinosaurs to evolve into the impressive and highly successful species of their time ultimately led to their demise. But this is just as well, because without their extinction, mammals wouldn't have evolved and thrived. That's all for today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. You can also leave a comment with what you would like to see in the following videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time.